Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today, just in time for Halloween, we're going to be drawing a raven. So, well, actually we're going to be drawing and painting a raven. So you're going to need some form of paints. I'm using my little travel watercolour set, but you can use acrylic paints, poster paints, anything that you have to hand. Um, probably water soluble is better. So you're going to need a jam jar full up with water, a paintbrush, a black pen, and I'm using some dark cardboard. Um, you can use watercolour paper or something thick so that it doesn't all scrumple up when you use the, the paints on it. And don't forget, if you like drawing animals, don't forget to check out my free PDF of how to draw a horse galloping, which you can find just here. So let's get started. Okay, for this one, I've mixed this dark blue and this dark brown to make this almost black, but not quite black colour here. I'm using a really thick paintbrush and I've loaded loads and loads of water onto it. So we're going to start off with the wing. Just a shape like this. Now we're just going to do the neck part. So just a shape like that. And then the head. Just like this. The throat coming down. And then the tummy. So just use like this flicking motion and then the tail. Now try and keep it as rough as you can, okay? I'm just going to mix a little bit more. I want it a little bit stronger now, so I'm going to mix a bit more paint. So we need it a bit darker under this wing. So keep it watery still, but a little bit more strong than before. And we want to keep it nice and kind of messy. We don't want anything too defined. Something a bit like that. Just like so. There we go, a little bit stronger still. Now, just using the point of your paintbrush, we're gonna do the beak. Now, remember, ravens have particularly large beaks, so pay attention and try and get it as large as possible, otherwise it'll end up looking like a crow. Which is no bad thing either, to be fair. There we go. A Little bit hooked at the end. like that. I'm just going to get a little bit darker and darker on the underside. Just like so. I'm just going to wash out my paintbrush. Try it a little bit. I'm just going to add a tiny weeny little bit of white. Don't worry if you don't have any white. It's only to accentuate parts where the light hits. So just on the top there. A little bit on the beak. Tiny bit here. There we go. Teeny weeny bit there. And that's it. I know it doesn't look like much at the moment, but you'll see what we do next. So you've got to let it dry first. Now, very quickly, just before the next stage, I just wanted to add in a moon in the background. So we've got something to look at. So the composition's a bit better. So there's going to be a big full moon in the background. Try and get as much white paint onto this as when it dries, you're not going to see much of it. So there we go. And also, I just wanted to draw a little bit of, should we say, standing on a rock. So I'm just going to just put in 
just something that it can stand on just like this. Make it darker on this side. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna let it dry and we're gonna go on to the next bit. Okay, now get your black pen. And we're just going to define the beak a bit better. side of the beak. Just around like that. I'm going to do the lower one. Just like so. And we're going to bring some kind of feathery lines just down like this. Just following where we did the paint, just like so, just on the underbelly. Just follow the jagged edge that we did with the paint all the way around, all the way to the tail, just like that. Now we're going to do the eye. So the eye, first of all, we're going to do the larger circle like this. Then we're going to do an inner circle. We're going to leave a little glimmer of light on the inner circle. And it's going to look just like that. Just going to do a bit more on the underneath here. Now for the wing. So just draw the top part. I want to do minimal drawing on this just to make it a bit more effective. So I'm just doing a few of the feathers. Draw them coming down. Round like so. A few more feathers underneath here. few more on the underside here. Now for the feet. So, coming down like that. And the same on the other side. Just colour it in. Now I can actually see that I didn't do the ground high enough, but I'll soon fix that. I don't want to make the legs too long. So the other toe coming around here. Okay, and big talons like this. One there, one there, one there. One poking up from behind. And the same with the back leg as well. Just kind of colour it in. There's one toe, and there's another toe peeking out from behind. Draw the talons. And I'm just going to remedy this flying rock that's at the bottom. So, bringing back my paintbrush. Mix a bit of rock paint up. And then we're just going to go underneath like this. There we go. You would have never guessed. <laughs> Make it a 
make it a little bit darker just underneath the raven. There we go. Also, while we're at it, we can add some, some more detail to the moon. It's kind of lacking in detail, isn't it? So, just to the underside, just to give it a bit more texture. Maybe add a few clouds. And there you have your raven, ready in time for Halloween. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and let me know about your Halloween plans down below in the comment section. Tell me how you found this and also if, you, if you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and like and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much.